maligayang bati, maligayang bati, maligayang 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 bati, maligayang bati, maligayang bati, maligayang 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 bati. So that's how you sing happy birthday. Happy birthday, Maligayang Bati to you. Maligayang Bati. Maligayang Bati. So, Maligayang, happy birthday to you, but Maligayang Bati. Sing with me, guys. Maligayang Bati. Maligayang, Maligayang, Maligayang Bati. Then another common Filipino phrase is that they will use Salamat, thank you. I said, I think I said that already. Salamat, thank you, po. Salamat, po. Thank you, thank you. And then if you want to say, you are welcome. You are welcome in Tagalog. It, it, you go, it goes like this. my youtube channel it's your girl pamela if you're an old subscriber thank you so much for coming back if you're new to my youtube channel please kindly join the list squad subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to turn on your post notifications so that anytime i upload a video you will be the first person to see and please if this is your first time clicking to my youtube channel please kindly check somewhere you will see the red subscription button please subscribe to my youtube channel join the queen squad join the list squad so that anytime i upload a video you will be the first person to see so guys on today's video we are going to be learning some basic filipino language basic tagalog yeah some basic tagalog that you can make in your job site because you know here in uae dubai majority majority of people majority 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 of people in the companies like if it's very difficult to go to a company without uh, seeing two or three filipinos so it's very important for you to learn their language so that it can be easy for you to communicate with the filipinos so guys let's start straight without wasting so much of your time let's go to let's start from one to ten then we can go to another basic to the other basic ones another basic one one is a Repeat after me, learn with me for free. One, Isa. Two, Dalawa. Again, one, Isa. Two, Dalawa. Three, Tatlo. Three, Tatlo. Four, Apart. Five, Lima. Again, let's go. One is Isa. Two, Dalawa. Three, Tatlo, four, Lima, four, sorry, four apart, then five is Lima. I hope and I believe you have learned. Let's go again. Isa, one, Dalawa, two, Tatlo, three, apart, four, Lima, five. So from now, you can count from one to five in Tagalog. So let's go to six. Aning. A name is six, not a mean. A name. <laughs> a name is six. Pito is seven. Pito. So a name six. Pito seven. Walo eight. Shop nine. And sample is ten. So let's go again. Walo. Walo is eight. So let's start from six. A name. Six, a name, six, pito, seven, pito, seven, walo, eight, walo, eight, then shim, nine, then sample is ten. So let's start from one to ten in Tagalog. I hope you guys have learned this word. It's very like Tagalog, if you put, it's very easy to learn Tagalog if you really like want to learn. It's very, very easy to learn Tagalog. So let's start from 1 to 10. 
Isa. One. Isa. One. Repeat after me. Isa. Okay. You got that one. Dalawa. Two. Dalawa. Two. Repeat after me. Dalawa. Two. Two is Dalawa. Three. Tatlo. Again. Tatlo. Repeat after me. Tatlo. Three. Apart is four. Apart. Four. Apart. Four. Then we have our uh, five. Lima. It's very easy. Lima, five. So one to five is Isa, Dalawa, Tatlo, Apart, Lima. One to five. Then from, uh, let's go from six to ten. Lima is five. Anim, six. Repeat after me. Anim, six. Six, Anim. Yeah, Anim, six. Pito, seven. Pito, seven. Again, Pito, seven. Then, eight is Walo. Walo, eight. Again, Walo, eight. Then, nine is Shames. It's very like just Shames. Nine. Then, ten is Sampu. Sampu, Sampu in Filipino voice. Sampu. Isa, Dalawa, Tadlo, Apat, Lima, Anim, Pito, Walo, Shim, Sampu. One to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now let's go to greetings in Tagalog. Like if you meet your colleagues in the morning or you meet your roommates or your sharing accommodation in the morning, what you will say? Maganda Omaga. Good morning. Maganda is a, a, a word. If they use this word to you in Filipino, say, so, oh, Maganda, it, it means beautiful. Beautiful, good. Maganda it means good. Maganda has lots of meaning. So when you meet uh, a Filipino in the morning, you always say Maganda Omaga. If it's a uh, elder, you can say Maganda Omaga Po. Maganda Omaga Po. Yeah, like Po is like an elderly. You use that word for elderly people. Then if you want to say good afternoon, Maganda Hapun. Maganda Hapun. Good afternoon in Filipino language. Then, if you like, if you want to introduce yourself, hello, hi. I, like, if, if I want to say I am Pamela, you, I will say Akosi Pamela. What do you like? If you want to introduce yourself to a Filipino, to your Filipino friend, hello, hi, Akosi Pamela. Then the I don't know. Then the other person, if like you, if you want to ask them how are you, kamusta, kamusta, kamusta is like a regular greeting to like like friends. If you have your friends, 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 like normal friends, yeah, you say kamusta. But if you want to say to an elderly person, you say kamusta po, kamusta po, kamusta. That one is uh, like uh, friends, yeah. But the formal way to s greet and add that, like, to int like, how are you in a uh, in Philippines? Kamusta po, kamusta po, kamusta po. Then the other person will say, Mabuti, salamat. Mabuti means I really don't have the accent because it's not my language. Don't come for me, but at least I understand. The other person will say, Mabuti. Salamat. Mabuti, I am fine. Thank you. Salamat means thank you. Then I am Mabuti. Salamat. Ikao. Ikao means and you. So this is the normal way like to introduce to like to greet a Filipino person. Like hello. Like hello, Akosi Pamela. Like I meet a Filipino lady now. Hello, Akosi Pamela. Kamusta. Hello, I am Pamela. How are you? Then she, he or she will say, Mabuti, salamat. 
I am fine, thank you. Ikao means I knew. If you want to say I am fine, thank you. Mabuti Ikao. Mabuti Salamat. I am fine, thank you. Ikao means and you. So, uh, again, I will teach you another one. This is most important, the one I like. If you have the Filipino friends that you really want to surprise them on birthday, just sing a birthday song for them in their language. I believe they are going to be so, so happy. Like, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. So you go like this. Maliga yang bati, maliga yang bati, maliga yang maliga yang maliga yang bati, maliga yang bati, maliga yang bati, maliga yang maliga yang maliga yang bati. So that's how you sing happy birthday. Happy birthday, Maligayang Bati to you. Maligayang Bati. Maligayang Bati. So, Maligayang, happy birthday to you, Bati. Maligayang Bati. Sing with me, guys. Maligayang Bati. Maligayang, Maligayang, Maligayang Bati. Then another common Filipino phrase is that they will use Salamat, thank you. I said, I think I said that already. Salamat, thank you, po. Salamat, po. Thank you, thank you. And then if you want to say, you are welcome. You are welcome in Tagalog. You, you go, it goes like this. Walang anumat. Salamat, po. And then in response, you can say, walang anumat. Walang means you are welcome. So another one. Like this one is just is very common with the Filipinos. If they say oh oh means yes, then ingat means goodbye. Like if there are times they are in the hotel, ingat maybe you feel that they are insulting you. They are simply telling you goodbye. Ingat ingat. Yeah, it's like goodbye. Take care like that. Then another thing, the bad one bad word like this is very common with the Filipinos. Like they use this bad word. If you are working with, if you have a Filipino a Filipino colleague which you are working with please kindly make sure this word uh this bad word that they always use why why is this word running out of my mind tanginamu aha uh -huh, that is the word if they keep using this word to you tanginamu tanginamu you just have to know that this is that that is a bad word that word means f u tanginamu 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 so that is just their national anthem. They like using that word. So if you are working here, you have to be alert. You have to know if they will use such words to you. Just know that it is not. It is. It is a very bad word. So I hope you guys, you guys have learned a lot from me. You have learned from one to ten. Isa, Dalawa, Tadlo, Apat, Lima, Anin, Pito, Walo, Shim, and Sampu. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You have learned greetings. Maganda Omaga. Maganda Hapun. Maganda Gabi. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening. You have also learned how to sing Maligayang Bati, Maligayang Bati. And you have also learned how to say Salama, thank you, you are welcome, Walang Anumat. So guys, you guys must have been wondering why I, instead of learning Arabic, I <laughs> learning basic Arabic, I, I know basic Arabic, that would be a topic for another day. But as I told you earlier, Philippine language, like they, everywhere you go, you find Filipinos. So it's better you just get used to them. They are troublesome. You must find them. So prepare yourself. If you happen to meet like a Filipino that is nice, you will love Filipinos. When you when you meet those war zones, you tend to hate all Filipinos. Like here in uh, UAE, I met one Filipino at my job site when we were working in Atlantis. Like that lady was super super good. She like she was so nice to me. She helped me in so many ways. She was protecting me when somebody would say something like she like racist or call me black. She will fight back for me like she was so nice. That is the only Filipino that I, I ever came across that was playing. That never like never did one or two things. Yeah. So please, please, please. 
kindly make sure so if you are here in uae please please be be aware because these filipinos they can provoke you to a fault try to calm down your temper try to calm down your mind because no matter how bad they are they are still some nice one when you meet the nice one you love them because they think that the few ones they're so caring they, they show you love show you concern but 90 percent of them they are racist they are 90 percent of them they keep closing their nose they keep telling us we smell they keep telling us we don't wash our hairs they keep telling us all sorts of negative stuff but please just calm yourself down but don't if they throw shit to you, throw shit back to them. Yeah, don't die in silence. Don't cry in silence because I, 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 I was one among those people that used to be crying because of Filipino bullying. So please, if you watch this video, if you have learned something from Philippines, if you have learned something from Tagalog, leave a comment on the comment section. Tell me what you have learned. Share to your friends and families and colleagues. Share, tap your Filipino friends here to come and watch my videos to see an African lady, a Cameroonian la lady speaking in ta Tagalog. I know lots of Tagalog. I understand Tagalog, but I cannot really speak them. But if I, I've become used to Filipinos to an extent that when they say something, I understand it, but it's hard for me to say it back. But I know what they are trying to talk about. I have a, a, I, I have a clue of what they are saying so guys we have come to the end of this video as i said earlier please don't forget to give a thumb up a thumbs up like share comment and above all subscribe to my youtube channel please share to your filipino friends especially so that they they will know that african people we are we are lovable we don't have any hate for them they are the one hating on us until next time